Okay, quick saving thing. Uh, let's. I, I made a cube here, <clears throat> and the cube has an FSM called st stats, and it has current health 50. It, really nothing here. You could have all the stats in here you, you want. Um, however, you'd, you'd want to run it. So let's let's I don't prefab him somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to stick him. I'll put him over there, I suppose. And <clears throat> I'm going to create a canvas and in this canvas I'm going to create two buttons button and button so this can be save and this one can be load all right so let's go 2d First, let's put the canvas over to scale the screen. Bring this guy over here. Save and load. Up here, let's put a manager. And we want. And this is this is just for the <coughs> this demo purposes. You probably don't need to do this part in your project. It would almost seem kind of silly. Uh, but similar. Um, okay, we're gonna have a save event and a load event. Okay, save, load. So this guy would be because I'm using easy save. I'm just gonna say um, something like that. I'm not gonna worry about globals. Finish back here. And then this guy is going to do the same thing, but load. Right? Only I'm going to make sure that's the same name. We want the same key. We're loading it. Right? So that's going to be... But, okay, now we need something to save. So, the easiest way... Like, say you have a game, and I don't know, maybe it's items, maybe it's monsters, who knows, trees, farm. The one thing you, you want to do as a developer is to always make sure you know, like, you have control over everything, right? Like, I could create, say, a system that... Um, does a, a wait you know maybe half a second does a finish actually no let's not even do that let's do an iterate or no let's just do a loop a loop is fine let's just do a loop okay let's loop 25 times okay and during this loop Okay, oh, there's my daughter, she just go into bed. So it's during the loop, we want to create an object. So we're gonna create our cube. And we always, we, you always wanna store these things. <coughs> and you'll, you'll, you'll see why here in a second here. So let, let's just do a let's do a random vector. Um, so you know what? Because we got the camera here, and we want to make sure we can see this. Let's go like this. Let's create this guy so I can see him. Stick him here. Now I'm going to get position. of this sphere so I get his position and I'm just doing this just to <clears throat> so you can see and now I'm going to random float two of those uh, we'll go I don't know negative negative 10 holy geez 110 would be crazy 10 star that is X 
negative 10, 10, store that as Z. We're going to get the position. We're going to vector 3, add X, Y, Z. Move this down here. After the get position, so sphere, we're going to add the X, add the Z, and then we're going to create this guy at that position. And then normally you, you'd think you would just finish and go back, and you would create, say, 25 of these. Now, <laughs> this is what I say about, as a dev, you, you want to, you want to control everything right so say say this is some spawn manager you know maybe it's an inventory manager maybe it's your inventory I, I don't know but you're gonna want some sort of array right let's go with an array created things and it's a game object type of array so when you create this we're going to array add because now when it's created, um, we're keeping track of these things, right? Because now if I want to save, all I'd have to do is get FSM array. So let's, you know, get the array from this manager the created things we're going to store it into our own array called save these and it's a game object style as well you know we're copy the values that's fine and then um, <coughs> put that here so then we're going to save those. Now on the load, you do something a little different. So we load and we're going to load all those objects. And you would probably want to array Hold on, my daughter is here. What are you doing, Athena? Okay, you're getting a juice box. All right, so I'm going to set that same array with those objects. So if I hit play, we see we have a whole bunch of cubes everywhere, right? <clears throat> and I can move them around, put them wherever I want. You know, I can, I can adjust these healths. Right, like if I say take these ones, drop them down, you know, the game's played, we got things happening. I guess I don't need to do a whole whack of them. And I hit save. Oh, okay, we have an error. We have an error, and we have a special error for a certain reason. If you're using easy save, you need the manager. Oh, yeah, try that again. So we say, okay, we, we get these cubes. Now, if I say take this guy, drop him. Now, the beauty part about Easy Save, for whatever reason, it works actually really, really, really well. So, anyone who's using it, you know, you're very fortunate in that aspect. All right, so we have all these. I hit save. All right, well, how do we know that it worked? Right, so okay, this guy has 35. Let's take him up to 102. 26. Let's take him up to something crazy. You know, while we're at it, let's move these guys around, those two guys around. Now let's load. Boop. Okay, what are we at? 35? 26. Look at that. Right, I can move them around all I want. I can hit this. Nope, oh, oh, bring them back. Load. There we go. All right. Uh, all right, I can, I can do whatever I want with these things now, right? I can take this up. Now I can hit save. Badoop. Bring him over here. Bring this back down. Hit load. He's over there, and his health's that. 
So the save all really, really does take a lot of the work out, right? Now, let's do this. Let's get rid of all those. Let's get rid of them. There we go. They're back. Just like that. Take away half of them. Load, bring them back. And anytime I want, I can go to the manager, this guy that created them, and he's got those cubes, right? So if I want to access individual things, collect that data, it's there, right? But it's a very, very simple, easy way. I literally just, like that's like it's saving into the persistent data. I'm using two buttons. The whole save system um, isn't that. That's just a, that's just the items, right? Like really, the whole save system is. I'm getting a I'm getting an array of the things that I want to save, and then I'm saving them. So I'm I'm I'm, oh, I'm, I'm doing the save all variables and I'm saving my array which those all have variables sneaky sneaky get all save all load all set all done and done so hopefully that clears something up for you or any of you we'll talk to you later